Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like fragrance, vlogs, makeup, skincare, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So you guys, I have rearranged my shelves. They're looking okay. I'm not obsessed with it, but I'm, I'm not mad at it either. But I did go through all my fragrances and I have about 18 fragrances that are on the chopping block. So we need to go through them and see, are they staying? Are they going like what? is the vibe okay first we're going to start with myth by ellis brooklyn so as you can see i've definitely used quite a bit of it and i do enjoy this fragrance it's a nice one of those your skin but better um fragrances if you like fragrances like glossier you um sonic flower by room 1015 um and just fragrances like that you would like this i don't feel like the performance on this is great it could definitely be better um so is this staying or going it's actually going to stay but i'm definitely going to use this up um i'm just actually just going to wear it for bed because that's really the only time i can wear it um i can smell it for a little while and then of course by then i'm asleep showering in the morning and putting something else on anyway so we're not going to necessarily declutter this but this is definitely um getting used up and it can go ahead and go out the door next is miel Stas by navitas so this is definitely a honey bomb i feel like you really have to like honey to love this um when i spray it on i don't really enjoy it until like 30 minutes later when the other notes really start to come into play like the chocolate there's some kind of warm a little slight warm spicy something in there um, and I start to like it more and I feel like I have to use like a chocolate body routine to bring that chocolate out and make me kind of enjoy it. But like I'm not obsessed with it and I don't really I don't really reach for it, you guys. Um, I have Sweet Sin by Viva More and that's also a honey fragrance as well. But it has apricots and peaches in it. So the honey is playing like with the fruit and I just feel like I reach I would reach for that more than I would reach for this. So um, this one definitely can go. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get rid of it, um, if I'm gonna sell it or give it away. But yeah, like me Alex Sauce can go. And as you can see, I've definitely worn it, but yeah. This is Aura Celeste by Viva More. So this is a, let me smell it. It smells like a citrus, lemon, warm, spicy fragrance, but it's definitely unisex. It smells more like a man. Um, I've definitely worn it and I enjoyed it when I wore it, but it's, it feels like my man should be wearing it, if that makes sense. I feel like it's an all year round fragrance, but I think this is really something that's gonna shine in the warm weather because of that citrus feel it has to it. Um, so yeah, I'm actually gonna declutter this and give this to dad because I really feel like it's gonna smell amazing on him. This is Burn For You by Five Sins. Um, I really enjoyed wearing this when I did wear it. It reminds me of By The Fireplace by Replica, but you guys know I really like By The Fireplace. So this is a more toned down, less smoky version of By The Fireplace. Um, it still has that warm vanilla, like a little spicy, like cloves or nutmeg in there. And it has a slight smokiness, but it's not as smoky as By The Fireplace. So if By The Fireplace was too smoky for you, you may want to try this. Um, I don't feel like the performance is as good as by the fireplace like i know replica kind of gets a bad rap for fragrance their fragrance is not lasting um i don't really have that issue with replica fragrances um i feel like by the fireplace is definitely one of theirs that lasts the longest um and this is similar to that but the performance is not as good so i am going to declutter this but this is actually going to go to my daughter she can wear this as a wintertime scent because it has that vanilla and musk in it and it's not as strong as by the fireplace so i don't feel like she's gonna feel like it's off-putting so i'm gonna let her know that this is a good one for the cold weather Ball de Freak. Y'all, when I used to wear this when I first got it, I was loving Ball de Freak. Like, loving it. But now, it's just like the vetiver has... feel like it's just overpowering the fragrance to me. It's like, I feel like all I can smell is like a clean, fresh vetiver. And I don't know. I Like, when I do reach for it now, I have to layer it with something. Something citrusy or something fruity. It's like I'm just kind of adding a little vetiver to those fragrances rather than really wanting to wear this so yeah this can go ahead and go i don't hate it but i'm just not in love with it like i was you know a couple years ago so this can go ahead and go i will let dad, dad try it to see if he likes it um if he doesn't then i'm not sure how i'll get rid of it but yeah balta freak is just not one of my favorite by anymore so it can go 
elixir 11 by kayali so this is like a when you first spray it it definitely smells like grape grape soda grape juice grape something grape <laughs> and i enjoy wearing it then it kind of calms down more into like a rosy kind of grape scent um it's not deep dark and sexy like a lot of people describe it describe it to me i feel like it used to be before i got a lot more deep darker sexier fragrances now this is just a nice fun um you know grape rosy fragrance i feel like i don't have to be dressed up to wear this anymore i feel like i can just throw it on and wear it like anytime um so this one is definitely on the chopping block i'm not sure if i want to keep it or send it to my daughter i think she might like it this might be something she might wear, want to wear on a night out you know what i'm saying so yeah i might just go ahead and just go ahead, send this to her and see how she likes it see if she thinks it's one of those kind of i'm going out and getting cute type of fragrances like how i used to feel about this i really like it now but this is now this is something i would reach to like go run errands <laughs> so yeah so we'll see this is Orchidy Rouge by Soradora and when this came out y'all it got so much hype like it was just so great and when I got it I was like nah, it's not all of that to me like it's a little let me see yeah it's just like I don't know it's a little warm spicy um a little I don't know if it's almond or what's in here but it's something like a like a warm spicy almondy kind of feel or something like that um i like it but i don't love it and i think because my expectations were so high that i was like kind of let down by it it doesn't smell bad by any means but it's just not something that i reach for and even when it it definitely is more for cooler weather but it doesn't perform as good as I thought it would. So it's like, dang, well, should you try this in the warmer weather? I don't know. But the, the scent profile is definitely giving cooler weather. So yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like a man could wear this just as well as a woman could wear it. I'll let dad try it to see if he likes it um, or see if he thinks it's maybe something he would want to wear in the cold weather. But if not, then it will definitely be leaving i don't know how though <laughs> i keep saying i don't know how because like i don't really have anybody to give this stuff to so i really don't know how i'm gonna get rid of it y'all so i know y'all finna have y'all panties in a bunch about this one this is ooh for greatness by initio so as you guys know when i first wore this i sprayed so much of it and dad told me I smelled like a church deacon child and after that i do not re reach for ooh for greatness and when I smell it, I like it. It smells like a spicier, peppery, more type of Baccarat, if that makes sense. So it's like Baccarat with a lot of pepper and spice. Um, so, or in some, in a little smokiness. So that's kind of what it smells like to me. I personally think it would smell amazing on that. But ever since he smelled it and said I smelled like a church deacon, I tried to give it to him and he was like, mm -mm, I don't want that church deacon fragrance. <laughs> I don't want that. Either. So he don't want it either. So I don't know. I might wait till it gets cold and let him smell it. Or he said, maybe you just shouldn't, just don't spray as much. It's ooh, you don't need that much. You know, he think he a fragrance kind of sewer child. But, um, and plus he's like a two, three, four sprayer. And I'm like a 40 sprayer. So yeah, he like, you don't got to spray that much. It's got ooh in it. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I can try to wear it again and not spray as much or layer it with stuff so but now i don't even be wanting to reach for it so yeah ooh for greatness is definitely on the chopping block girl because i don't know so this is by orientica this is exclusive azure fantasy and i recently had this on my fragrance tray and i did enjoy when i wore it it's definitely giving like a lemon or bergamot spearmint minty feel because it's definitely got mint in it but it's not a harsh mint it's more like spearmint smooth kind of mint and it the dry down smells a little soapy to me so it's it, when i smell it it smells like a fresh current clean citrusy man um like almost kind of like not aftershave but more like a clean shaving cream type of smell so i don't know i think this would smell really good on dad i think it would be great for a summertime fragrance for dad because it just smells like a cream clean fresh soapy man with a little citrus and mint if that makes sense so yeah that's what it smells like to me i think he's gonna enjoy this so i'm gonna go ahead and pass this along to him next is on a date by replica so as you can see a lot of this is missing and it's not for me dad was wearing this last summer 
and because it, it really smells good on a man this is not this is like black currant but it's like black currant and oak moss so to me it smells more on the masculine side because that's what i mostly get is the oak moss you do get the black currant um and it kind of gives you like a mm, I guess a wine or a champagne, like a wine feel. But to me, it definitely smelled more masculine because that oak moss, it smells so good on him in the summertime. As you can see, he was tearing it up and it smelled amazing on him. And one day I caused myself going on his shelf and smelling it. I was like, well, you know, I do get a lot of the black currant. It's not, it's not that bad anymore let me take it back girl i'm giving him this bag because i don't wear this i don't read for it or nothing like how, who who am i to be taking some look how he was tearing it up and he's a two three four sprayer so how in the world did he get down here y'all know he loved it last summer let me get that man his fragrance back this is going back to dad girl i'm also gonna give dad sailing day by um replica now i do really enjoy this it smells like ocean it gives you yacht vibes it's like all white yacht party it's salty and it gives you that aquatic feel you definitely feel like oceanic when you smell this it's clean it's fresh um it's unisex but it does lean on the masculine side and i'm gonna go ahead and give him this because personally I like Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks better. He loves that one too. But I think if I give him this, he won't use my Pacific Rock Moss so much, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and give him this. I think he will really enjoy it. It smells so fresh and clean on him. And yeah, I think he's really gonna love this. And plus, I don't want him using my uh, Pacific Rock Moss as much no more, girl. Cause I love that one. They definitely give you the same type of vibe. This this one is not as smooth and, and as refined as Pacific Rock Moss, but they definitely give you the same feel. This is Madame Rose by uh, Ocha. This is a dupe for like Delina or is it Delina exclusive for Delina? Mm, I think it's trying to be Delina exclusive. I don't know, but either way, girl, I was using this for like a bed spray and I was like, you know what? Let me stop doing that. I'm going to give this to my daughter. So I'm going to send this to her. I think she would enjoy it. It's girly. It's feminine. It's, it's definitely giving dupe, but it's not like the best dupe. I already have a dupe of Delina. I have a dupe of Delina Exclusive. And of course I have the original Delina and Delina Exclusive. So I was like, girl, you do not need this. So I'm going to actually send this to my baby girl and I'm sure she'll love it. She might not though, child. She might say it smell like old oh, grandma. It ain't no telling. You know how young girls is. This is Midnight Nymph by Okja, and this is to be uh dupe for Black Opium, the original Black Opium. Um, the original Black Opium is okay. I liked it, but I wasn't obsessed with it, so I never purchased it. Um, and this kind of smells just like it. Um, I actually kind of like the way this one smells better, but I never reached for it. Um, so I'm gonna give it to my daughter. I think this is something she will wear like on a night out to dinner or when she goes out with her friends or something like that. I think this is something that she would reach for. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her. Next is Velvet Plus by Commodity. Um, I actually have the original, well, not the original. I have Velvet Expressive, and I really do like this. Um, this reminds me of Gris Charnel. It kind of puts me in the same realm as Gris Charnel. Are they dupes? Are they the same fragrance? Are they? No, not at all. But I just kind of get that same kind of vibe when I wear this. Now, like I said, I have the Expressive version, and I like it. And it's actually strong enough for me. Um, I feel like the Unis the this. Uh, plus version is it is more bold um it's a little more spicy and i feel like this leans a little more where to a man could wear it um, i feel like it probably would be a better fragrance for a cold weather but i think dad might just like this um i'll let him try it to see how he feels about it i don't know how he's gonna feel about it because it's warm right now so you know sometimes we have to smell stuff in season um so yeah i'll see how he feels about it if he doesn't necessarily like it right now i'll let him try it when it gets cold if he doesn't like it then i'll find another way to get rid of it but um yeah, I don't hate it. I just already have the expressive. They do smell similar, but I feel like the expressive version is a little more of the, a little more feminine, a little more rose, a little more softer. And then this one is a little more spicy and more unisex. So yeah, we'll see if he likes this one. Okay, so this is In Too Deep by Five Sins. I kind of don't want to get rid of this because I really do like it. Um, I actually went to the mall today and I smelled uh, Rock Sugar by Kayali, the new one that just dropped. This reminds me of that. This is like, mm, I would say if you had that 
with a splash of like maybe Delina, something like that. Um, yeah, so this reminds me of that. This reminds me of cotton candy and sweet and girly and feminine and all of that. And I was like, oh, okay, this does really smell kind of similar to that. Now this was released before that one. But you definitely get the sweet cotton candy, vanilla. You get a little sandalwood from it. And I think it's cool. Um, it's definitely something that I was reaching for just to go run errands, just something for breakfast, you know, nothing fancy. But I think my daughter would really like this. And I feel like I can go grab the vanilla rock sugar um, by Kayali if I want that cotton candy smell because that's kind of what this gives. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to my daughter. I think she would really, really like this. Now with these, these this is a clean brand. So the performance isn't great. I think you get maybe three or four hours out of it before you have to respray to me. But the smells of them are really, really good. So yeah, this is like girly feminine cotton candy and I'm gonna send this one to my daughter. This is Rose Taif uh, by Jebulon Parfums. Um, I really like this bottle. This is like a real like stone rock or something. This It's actually really cool. Um, but as far as the fragrance goes, it's pretty one note <laughs> um it smells like rose it smells like a bouquet of roses it's almost given like just like potpourri roses like just dried roses it's really nothing else to it it feels like something i would just like spray on linen or something like that it just smells like something clean rose that would be like in a bathroom so yeah it's not really giving me anything anything with it um so i do have the odu protection I think it's under protection by Attack de la Range, and that's a rose fragrance, but it has a little more going on. A little more, you know, it's got the pepper in it. It just has a little more going on. This is like straight up a bouquet of roses that you get from Whole Foods. And yeah, it's just not giving me anything. Now, I don't think I'm going to necessarily give this one away because I don't think my daughter would even reach for this. And I know this is not something dad would wear at all. So I think I'm just going to keep it and just use it as a linen spray, but... Is, I'm still putting it in the declutter because I'm just not going to wear this. Next is a Spicy Delice by Juice Parfums. Now this is a spicy fragrance. It smells like every spice you ever want to smell. So we talking clove, nutmeg, cardamom, cinnamon, like every spice you could ever think of is in here. Um, so yeah, it's definitely something you want to wear in the cold weather. It smells like the holidays. Um, so that's the only time that I sprayed it and wore it. Um, when I wore it, it was cool. It was I, I liked it, but I wasn't like obsessed with it. I wasn't in love. And I felt like it's something that I will only reach for if I want to add a little spice to something. So I'm like, mm, I'll never get through this. Um, so I would see if dad wants to try this, but I don't know. Like, I think for him, even for him, I think he tried it before and he was like, it's just just spice it's not really doing nothing like it's just spicy so yeah so i don't know i will probably let him try it again um when it's cold to see if he wants it but yeah i don't feel like i'm going to wear this for me i think it's definitely unisex leaning more on the masculine side so if you like uh, a lot of warm spices in your fragrances you like to smell like christmas and the holidays you like nutmeg and um you know cinnamon cardamom those type of fragrances those type of smells then this would definitely be something you would enjoy because that's pretty much what this is so yeah last is invite only amber 23 by kayali i used to really really like this but like when last the last fall and winter came i just was not reaching for it when i smelt it i'm like eh, it's okay but i'm not loving it i don't know if i just have so many other you know cherry woody um spicy fragrances that i like um so i just wasn't reaching for this this has tobacco it definitely has cherry but i just have other tobacco fragrances that i like i have other cherry fragrances that i like and when i did reach for this i was like adding more cherry to it so i was like mm, i don't think i like it the way i used to like it i used to really like it and i think i really liked it because it was just so different in my collection i didn't have a lot of cherry and tobacco and stuff like that in my um in my collection so this was something i would reach for when it was nice and cold but the last fall and winter i was just really just overlooking it and not really wanting to wear it that that not really wanting to wear it on its own for sure um so yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and get rid of this i'm not really sure how but yeah it, it, it's time to go okay y'all so these are the fragrances that are leaving okay you guys so these are the fragrances that are leaving the collection in some way shape or form um some of them won't be too far because they'll just be on dad's shelf um if i do want to reach for them again and some of them will be gone to new homes and some of them girl i don't know how we get rid of them but 
you ain't got to go home but you got to get the hell out of here okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye